Great Jones, their outstanding guard has to be the king. They don't blame me. Daryl throws. Devin Eva. A weapon you. Kirby Brooks on the two-pointer. Dallas Nichols wins the game. Alexander. It's a jump right in his face. Devin is Jones. Staten takes the ball to the left side, spins, shoots, layup, shot, good. He's got that Carter football. Javon Carter is in Trey Young's head. Butler into the lane, into traffic. It goes again. West Virginia has won its first Big East championship. They're going wild here at the Coliseum. So long, Big Blue. Hello, Golden Blue. The West Virginia Mountaineers are going to the Final Four. It is a great night to be a Mountaineer wherever you may be. What's going on, Mountaineer Nation? Welcome into an emergency CRW Hoops live stream here on the Country Roads webcast channel. As some breaking news has come through, I won't be able to stay on here with you guys too much long because I've uh, actually got to get to work. But this came through just a few minutes ago and I saw it and I wanted to get something out on it. And I knew I wouldn't have enough time to record a video, edit it and upload it. So I was like, well, let's go live really quick and talk about it. So kind of going to react to this news live with you guys here. So Share your thoughts on it in the chat if you want to. I'll try and touch on some of y'all's comments. Like I said, I don't have too long that I can stay with you, but I can be here for a few minutes because we do have some breaking news on the West Virginia basketball side here on Halloween. You know, trick or treat is what they say, and this was definitely, you know, a bit of a trick for West Virginia fans, I think, and certainly a gut punch after news in recent weeks hasn't really gone our way, be it, you know, the Silverio waiver. Then, of course, the Perez dismissal, and then most recently the battle waiver, and we're still trying to fight the appeal process there. Now you get the hammer put down on your other point guard, Kerr Carissa. We saw in the scrimmage West Virginia lacks depth. They really don't have any ball handlers outside of Kerr Carissa as it is. You were worried about who would spell him playing the point guard position. Now that concern, you know, the level of that concern is kind of turned up to 10 because you now know you're going to be without Kerr Carissa for part of the season. That is the news that's broken today, unfortunately, guys. Let me share this just coming from West Virginia University. They shared an official statement. They released it on their social media pages. You can find it online there at the official website, of course, wvusports.com. But just released today, of course, October 31st. This morning around 1030, uh, coming from Brian Messerly there, statement from WVU Athletics. I will read this with you guys. In late August 2023, West Virginia University learned of a potential eligibility concern for men's basketball transfer student-athlete Kerr Creesa, who admitted to receiving imperc- impermissible ven- benefits excuse me, while enrolled at the University of Arizona. West Virginia worked cooperatively with the NCAA student-athlete reinstatement staff to reach an appropriate resolution. As a result of his actions, Creesa will miss nine regular season games as part of his eligibility reinstatement. Creesa will be able to continue to practice and travel with the team during his suspension, so I guess that's the positive side is he can still be around the team, can still practice, can still you know be on the bench, it even sounds like, for the games. He accepts responsibility for his actions at Arizona and looks forward to joining his Mountaineer teammates on the floor. So nine games, though, we will have to see that suspension through for Kerr Creesa, and it gets very interesting start to the season now for West Virginia. You knew you'd be without battle, at least for a little bit, depending on how the appeal process goes. Hopefully you get him back at some point, but – Now you're really in trouble because you don't have hardly any depth at the front court. Uh, We don't know the status of a cook, a cook right now, if he's going to be able to, you know, continue playing with um, his health condition. Of course, that's secondary to getting him healthy and, you know, his health and his, you know, personal life first and foremost, obviously. But as far as West Virginia is concerned, now you're lacking depth both in the front court and the back court, especially as a ball handler is concerned as this uh, breaking news has come down, uh, Kerr Creese uh, going to have to serve a nine-game suspension to start the season for West Virginia basketball. I hate to 
you know, kind of term it this way because you guys know I try and keep things really positive here, but honestly kind of the worst possible news West Virginia could have gotten at this time with everything that's happened already with the battle situation and with what we saw in the scrimmage and how West Virginia looked, you know, having anyone else handle the ball and try and run the offense that wasn't Kirk Reese. It was a little bit rough out there on the floor when he got into the little bit of foul trouble that he did getting those three fouls in the first half of that scrimmage. So it's going to be interesting to see what West Virginia chooses to do. I would suspect that Kobe Johnson would have to take over as the team starting point guard in the meantime. I don't really know who else you got that could handle that. I mean, Seth Wilson can handle the ball decently enough, but he doesn't really have any experience doing that. Kobe Johnson, at least it did it some early in his career, but definitely a gut punch here if you're a Mountaineer fan. Like I said, I'm just kind of live reacting to this with you guys. Wanted to get something up about it since, you know, it did break uh, just recently. Uh, let's see if there's anything else out on on Twitter, if there's any uh, anything interesting I can share with you guys. Other than that, of course, that's the official statement there from the university and um, not the one that we wanted to hear, uh, you know, waking up this morning as West Virginia basketball fans. Hard to, you know, swallow that one with everything else that we've had to deal with in recent weeks with the Raekwon battle. Um, bad news there. And then, of course, you lost Jose Perez and Silverio prior to that. So definitely hurts. It definitely hurts if you're a West Virginia fan. I'm looking through here, seeing if we got anything else uh, coming down that I can share with you guys if anyone else has any more information on this. Um, scrolling through the social media now. Spend it for nine games, of course. You see all the other media outlets sharing it now. I see it from WVSportsNow.com. Um, just sharing to all across the different West Virginia media outlets, of course. Bad news, unfortunately, for the West Virginia basketball program. <laughs> uh, funny meme there from uh, the Smoking Muskets making me giggle. Um, don't see anything else um, extensive other than what the university has put out, unfortunately, at this time. But I'm sure as the day progresses, we'll get more news on this. Uh, the positive side of it is we were planning on recording a CRW Hoops podcast episode over the next couple of days anyway, so we can really um, you know hone in on this some more, give some more extensive thoughts on you know what appears to be a very negative situation for West Virginia basketball to start the season. But we just got to hope that they you know bounce back positively from it because you know right now we're really just getting you know absolutely screwed by the NCAA for lack of a better term. I mean. I don't know how else to put it. You know, they denied Silverio's waiver. They denied Perez's last year. They, you know, trying to screw Wake on battle over this year. We're trying to fight that in the appeal process. And now along the way, we get this news about uh, Kerr Carissa and the NCAA, you know, hammering down on him hard when we thought that, you know, we had worked with him and it was going to be worked out to where he could play. Going to have to serve that nine-game suspension. And uh, just stinks, man. The NCAA is really not looking out for old West Virginia right now at all. Larry Westfall asked, how was it discovered? Um, I'm not sure. You know, all it says in the statement is that they knew of it, so I'm guessing that it's something they probably knew of going into picking up Kirk Carissa or not long after adding him. So they probably tried to get ahead of it from what it sounds like to me and, uh, you know, work things out with NCAA to where it could be, you know, minimized as much as possible. So maybe they did, you know, have an effect in doing that, and it could have been longer than nine games. And so, you know, maybe them being proactive helped prevent it being longer than what it is. But I still got to hate the fact that the NCAA, you know, does hammer him with the nine-game suspension, especially with the situation West Virginia is currently in. It's really going to be tough to start the season that way, but we'll see how it works out. And like I said, get more information on it in the near future here, Larry. We appreciate you tuning in and chiming in, as I appreciate anyone else that, you know, hopped in here live. Obviously, impromptu, didn't schedule it or post it anywhere. So probably you're not going to have you're not going to have too many people turn it, tune in when you do that but if you are in here and called it that's awesome to see I know most people will probably catch it on a playback you know but breaking news wanted to get a video out on it like I said I got to head to work here in a little bit unfortunately but uh you know happy halloween mountaineer nation on the positive side it is halloween but unfortunately as I said West Virginia dealt a trick on the uh, Trick or treat day here as Kirk Reese you know suspended for the first 9 games of the season but if you're getting a chance to watch this Look out for our CRW Hoops podcast episode releasing in the next few days where we'll talk about this more and uh, preview, you know, the first game of the season for West Virginia as well. And we'll be delivering plenty of more West Virginia basketball content here on the channel. So, you know, we got football content coming, basketball content coming. If you're a WVU fan, be sure and subscribe to us here at the Country Roads webcast. Helps us and it helps you. Helps get more of this Mountaineer sports content out to Mountaineer Nation. And if you did find this video and you're tuned in live, 
or watch it on a playback. You can help us out a lot just by hitting that little thumbs up button. Giving this video a like really helps its performance and future videos performances on the channel as well. Negative news, unfortunately, here for West Virginia basketball, but that doesn't mean that they have to respond negatively. They can still have a positive response. You know, some of these other guards can come out and really impress us and step up to the plate. You know, Kobe Johnson, Seth Wilson, et cetera, could have increased roles, especially for those first nine games, and, you know, they can make of it what they will. They certainly have a chance now to do something with it. Bad news for Kirk Reese and the West Virginia program in general, but you just got to hope that, you know, they have that next man up mentality and really still choose to have a positive start to the season and find every way that they can to do just that. And that's what we'll be hoping for here, as we know you all are going to be hoping for the same as well out there throughout Mountaineer Nation. So to sum it all up, Kirk Crease has suspended nine games to start the season for West Virginia. West Virginia is certainly lacking guards without, you know, him in battle. So we're going to see how that plays out and we'll report on it further as more news comes out in the coming days on this situation for the West Virginia men's basketball program. But appreciate you guys tuning in to this emergency live stream here on the Country Roads webcast, CRW Hoops edition. Looking forward to covering more West Virginia basketball as the season progresses. Hopefully more positive news moving forward. And uh, once Kirk Reese comes back, he's going to be a difference maker. We're just going to have to wait a little bit longer to see him in an official capacity. But I guess, you know, the silver lining is at least we got to see a little bit of a glimpse of him playing in the scrimmage situation. Hopefully uh, the Mountaineers bounce back from this and bounce back in a big way and can have a successful 2023-2024 basketball season. That's what we're hoping to see. But appreciate you guys. As always, I'm Jordan Cruz. And until next time, let's go Mountaineers. <laughs>